Hi there. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about visceral fat shrinks your brain. What's visceral fat? Visceral fat is the fat inside your body cavity around your organs. It's not the fat that you pinch an inch on or maybe two inches. Um, that's what we put with clothing on to cover that. You can't see visceral fat. You can assume it's there if you have a little bit of a poochy tummy when you look at yourself in, <clears throat> in profile. Visceral fat probably is made by eating a lot of saturated fat and processed, highly processed foods, ultra processed, sugar and flour in particular, which is our diet. Fast food and sugar and flour and french fries made with trans fat oils. How does it shrink your brain? Well, we now know that if you look at the bacteria of the gut of Alzheimer's patients and feed it to mice, the mice act differently, sort of like they have Alzheimer's. That's interesting. What does an altered gut biome have with Alzheimer's? Well, it's pretty clear that one serving of red meat will have a negative impact on memory and cognitive function. One serving. Published literature to show that. Why would that happen? Well, cows are now being raised on corn and beans and they're being stuffed full of them because a farmer gets paid more when his animal weighs more. And cows are kept lights on at night so they eat longer. They're fed used candy bar, outdated candy bars full of sugar just to get them fatter faster. Well, that saturated fat looks like marbling and it makes it taste delicious, but it's not the fat that animals of the animals had when we were hunter-gatherers. Animals raised on grass have omega-3 fats and they're, they have very few saturated fats. And what do saturated fats do when they get into our intestine? They markedly alter our intestinal biome. That's the link. And they make for leaky gut, and that leaky gut leads to a allows your visceral fat to spew out a hurricane of inflammatory cytokines. And those inflammatory cytokines then damages your brain. There you have it. And we now know there's proof that if you look at that, people eating, if you take 100, 10,000 older adults, average age 52, and do a whole body MRI, and do a volumetric calculation of their brain regions and body fat, notably visceral fat, you can show that the quantity of visceral fat predicts brain volume loss. There you have it. Good study. The, the MR, volumetric MRI software is not available yet everywhere. We've just got it in Milwaukee. Ask your local doctor if they'll do it. We're getting it for 450 bucks in Milwaukee. It may be a worthwhile study to do. What will work for me? I'm working on reducing my visceral fat. I'm eating more vegetables and much less fat, much less red meat. I think we should all do the same. Dr. John Whitcomb for News and Nutrition. Visceral fat shrinks your brain, period.